So you're thinking about moving to Orange County, California. But what we're going to do in this video is we're going to give you five reasons why you may want to avoid it. Yes. You know, five things that we actually hate about living in Orange County, California. So that's what we're going to do right now. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dazod. And I'm Courtney Dazod, and we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to press on the subscribe button and don't forget to press on the bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video because we upload new videos every week and they're all about what it's like to live in Orange County. And we know from uh, you know our YouTube statistics that a lot of you guys that are watching, you aren't subscribers. So definitely remember to subscribe. And you might be thinking, wow, Sean, okay, I love Orange County. I love the glitz. I love the glamour. I mean, especially I love the weather. So I can't wait to move out there now. But the thing is, I'm not in the area. I don't know anything about Orange County. So what do I do? And I totally get that. So what you want to do is you want to reach out to us, either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can have that conversation to really help you find that perfect property for you. So we definitely want to preface this by saying that we don't hate living in Orange County. Yes, well, like there are, like, like any place, any yeah. any paradise, there are little it's quibbles that you might have paradise. with it. Well, although, honestly, Orange County is a little slice of paradise. I will say that. It's but heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. It really is. But, you know, there's, I mean, we're still living on earth, right? There's yes. still issues. There's still annoying things. And we, we just want to be real because maybe Orange County isn't right for you, right? Yeah, like these things, five things we hate isn't so bad that we would go, we wouldn't want to live in Orange County. However, these five things that we hate might be five things that really tip you, you know, like tip the balance in for your situation where you'd want to say, you know what, Orange County sounds great for a lot of people, but it's not right for me. Yeah. So let's talk about number one. Or, I want to say this is number one. I would just say a, number one on our list. <laughs> yeah, no no actual ranking. Yeah, list. it's not a ranking. But I would say that the weather in Orange County is definitely boring. <laughs> boring. <laughs> yes, it's, okay, obviously for a lot of people, this weather is amazing. However, yeah. it's kind of like, okay, well, it's another day of 75 degrees, mm -hmm. sun, no wind, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, great, mm -hmm. again. And the for weekly forecast is calling for that pretty much every day with a plus or minus of two degrees. Like, it's just, it's, you know, like a lot of people we get sometimes are saying, you know, like, oh, like, let's say we're moving out. They're like, I wanted more seasons. I mm -hmm. wanted, you know, I wanted that, you know, like that, that winter with like, let's say the, like with snow or like one, like the rainy season, stuff like that. We just, you know, again, we consistently just get pretty, like, it's just perpetual spring here. I mean, that's kind of the way I would put it. Yeah, and I also, you know, we don't want to make it sound like it never gets hot here. Yes, because or it never rains. Yeah, like. it does rain. It does get hot. I mean, and depending on where you are, you do definitely need to use your air conditioner. I mean, although, you know, we do want to, you know, preface this by saying it's not like living in Arizona. It's not like living in Florida where, like, it is so hot. Right? So hot. Right? Yeah. But it is hot. I mean, we actually just had a heat wave, or what was it like? About 100 degrees, 101 degrees. And again, there was that some was like a lot of humidity. Yeah, that was a tropical system yeah. that was happening in the Gulf of, you know, like not in the Gulf of Mexico, but like in the Gulf of California, like so, like Baja Peninsula kind of mm -hmm. area, where there was a tropical system and it was shooting some mm -hmm. humidity our way, which was shockingly hot and humid. And again, mm -hmm. that's not as extremely unusual. Yeah. But it's like these things do happen. Yeah, they do happen. I mean, I always say there's always one weekend a year it's usually like labor day weekend <laughs> where it's like 111 degrees <laughs> yeah well i would say that but then i'll say with this though on, on the converse we pretty much never get snow that i can think of. oh there's no snow up here yeah I don't like know. i mean i can't ever remember yeah my ever, entire like, life yeah so yeah. obviously now there will be days where there might be some frost on the ground oh yeah my son was very like mm -hmm. intrigued he was like wow mm -hmm. there's frost yeah he didn't know what it was yeah so so basically so we definitely don't get the really cold temperature, mm -hmm. especially with precipitation, so we're, yeah. we don't get snow. But yeah, we'll definitely get the, like, the warmer days for sure in the summer. Yeah, and, and if you're from Northern California, in the, the summers are much cooler in Northern California. We were actually just there, and it's kind of crazy. Like at night and in the morning, it's like 60 degrees. <laughs> That's not how it is in Southern California in the summer. It's definitely a lot hotter. Yeah, you're definitely in your like 70s, 80s, sometimes in the 90s. But like it's, again, it's great <clears throat> weather if you're just kind of like, you know, if you're just looking at what weather would what would be the perfect weather day 
Orange Canyon has that all the time. Yeah, most days. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, is that what we'll say is that sometimes for some people, it can kind of get like, okay, I'm ready for more seasons. Yeah. I'm waiting mm-hmm. for that fall foliage, you know, like the mm-hmm. the, the leaves turning, mm-hmm. like all sorts of different, yeah. you know, colors. We don't, mm-hmm. we don't, you know, it's funny, when, when we've gone to other places and you see the fall foliage, you're like, wow, this is amazing and dramatic. We just, we just don't like getting that. Yeah. So another thing we hate, and I actually do hate this, <laughs> is the traffic and how, you know, crowded it can be in certain places uh, around Orange County. The crowds and the traffic can just get really just annoying. Yes. And again, let's just put it this way. For Southern California, Orange County is amazing. For traffic. And for crowds, traffic yeah. and, and, and crowded. And I would say like and for both. And crowdedness, yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. so Orange County is great, but we're the best of like kind of a bad lot. Like, yeah, so, we're the best of the worst. Yeah. So like we're like, so f- like if you're kind of comparing us to other counties around us. Yeah. We're which are Riverside. Uh, Los Angeles and San Diego. Yes, in particular. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. So for the, against them, we're amazing. However, for traffic and crowdedness. Yeah. However, like for a lot of the other people from across the country or yeah. the world. Well, honestly, any place, any if you don't live in a big metropolitan area, yeah, that's fair. like any metropolitan area. My sister lives in Dallas. I mean, the traffic is horrendous. Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. So because like, they've grown so fast mm-hmm. that their infrastructure is just terrible. Like yeah. Orange County's infrastructure is actually pretty good. Yeah. So because we haven't, we're also pretty mature too. So we're not like we don't have huge swaths of development happening currently mm-hmm. as far as new residents and stuff. So yeah. so our traffic impact from those things aren't so dramatic. Yeah. But we still get, you know, you still will get, you know, traffic backed up. You'll still get what they call sick alerts, mm-hmm. where you have these like traffic slowdowns, and they yeah. will happen. I mean, yeah. you know, that's just when you have a county of three million people in the in the yeah. side, land area land land area that we do have, mm-hmm. you're going to get traffic, but well, ways around it too. Well, and it's all you know, rush hour always sucks. You're taking Main Street at rush hour. You know, if you can figure out a way to go around rush hour. You know, we recommend that you do that. And certain areas, I mean, the, the farther, five freeway is brutal. Yeah. 22 freeway can be pretty tough. 55 yeah. freeway can be tough. The farther you get north, the worse it is. I feel like once yeah. you get to like kind of where Santa Ana is, that's when it's like it opens horrific. up. Oh, no, yeah. Like okay, it's Santa Ana South. Yeah, it Santa Ana South gets more open. It's more up. open. And then Santa Ana North, the traffic just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of that part is what infrastructure really it isn't as good as probably yeah. where the population could be where it's south orange county and it's central newer. south orange county yes newer so they've had more i think planning yeah right, when it comes to that stuff so mm-hmm. what you have is not only do you have these freeways all over the place but then also you have toll roads which can mm-hmm. alleviate a lot if you're willing to pay the toll yeah and then also it, you also have these major arteries these big streets that are almost freeways in and of themselves yeah. That basically can get you to a lot of, like, you know, a lot of times we're, we're avoiding. And if you see traffic happening, right, okay, we're going to not take the freeway. We'll take, you know, some side some side road. Mm-hmm. So another thing we hate about Orange County, and this is California in general, is that it is expensive, right? I mean, first talk about the housing costs in Orange County. Yeah, so let's be real. This probably is going to be number one people's list of things yeah. they hate because... Or the reason that they decide, oh, I, can't, I just can't come here. Yeah, it's either like, you know, what they were hoping they could buy for the amount of money they have budgeted mm-hmm. just isn't, you know, just isn't a reality. Yeah. And that happens to us a lot. We get people reaching out and then we send them, you know, information. We send them properties. And I think that what they had in mind, what they wanted to what the reality is, what they can get, mm-hmm. you know, again, there was a disconnect and it's just not a good fit. Totally get it. I mean, obviously, everyone's got <laughs> everyone's got what they have budgeted in mind, what they what their creature comfort needs are. Mm-hmm. So housing is expensive. Like your average price is about give it like when you can t- consider houses, townhouses, condominiums, about a million dollars. Like figure right roughly right around there, right? Yeah. So that's you know certainly not cheap. Yeah, they're not exactly cheap. <laughs> and then depending on where you want to be within Orange County, it can obviously certainly far exceed that for sure. And then obviously California has extremely high energy costs. And obviously you've been in the news quite a bit being the brunt of jokes of our energy costs and lack of ability to provide energy. <laughs> yes. So so our energy costs are certainly not the cheapest yeah. in, in the country. And also our, like, you know, basically our, um, and our gas, because we have a specific blend, basically, our gas prices are always at, at least a dollar, yeah. if not more than that like so you can more than other places yeah. they're not a dollar they're yeah. a dollar more uh, yeah. than the rest a of the good, country a good amount yeah. higher like then yeah then like you know let's say our neighboring even the neighboring states right around here mm-hmm. like nevada arizona that kind of thing our, our gas prices are definitely a good amount higher than that so mm-hmm. we have high gas prices energy prices are not cheap yeah. housing is expensive and then also i guess we consider that stuff 
our taxes are definitely not cheap mm-hmm. either. So yeah. basically, at least our state income tax. So our state income tax is certainly not on the low side. Yeah, and uh, Sean was mentioning energy costs. I mean, obviously the cost that it takes to, you know, have the air conditioning in your house on those summer months when you do need it. I mean, if you're like us, we just like suffer through it. But but again, that's where people like going, where solar is becoming a really mm-hmm. popular that's thing true. too. So they're going, they're going solar. There's like a ton of, you know, uh, rebates and all stuff attributed to solar. So go the solar route. And again, you can alleviate a lot of the energy costs right there. That's true. So another thing we hate, and we say this with a caveat because we don't hate it, but it's something that other people definitely hate. And it might be a reason that they like, yeah, I don't really want to go to Orange County, is that Orange County definitely, you know, has a reputation for being very sleepy, right? Suburbia. Big reputation, big reputation. Suburbia, yeah. I mean, it is suburbia to the max. Right? Yeah, an interesting suburbia, right? Like, we start off as purely suburbs of, let's say, or of L.A. County, mm-hmm. but then we've kind of grown within a metropolitan, and again, we're still part of the L.A. metro, mm-hmm. but within Orange County itself, we're kind of our own metro ourselves in a lot of ways, mm-hmm. and, but, and again, we still, we have our, like, like de facto kind of pseudo downtowns or whatever, but we really, again, we still don't have, we're still, we're in our hearts and in our souls, we're still yeah. suburbia. Yeah, for sure. I mean, so people will complain, oh, there's not that much light, light life here. And I mean, Anaheim does have like a decent, like vibrant nightlife. Yeah, it's really good. And also the beach cities do too. Yeah, the beach cities do too. But it's like, you know, it's not compared to Los Angeles. Of course, in exchange, you get some of the things here. We don't have a lot of the same problems that Los Angeles has. But yeah, if you're looking for like, you know, fast-paced urban city life, that's definitely not Yeah, things open all hours of the night yeah. and stuff. Like, yeah, we, again, things start to shut down on the earlier side, especially mm-hmm. for Southern California standards. Mm-hmm. And so it's just like, you know, we just don't have these crazy, not, like this crazy bar scene. Again, mm-hmm. there are pockets. It's just that but as even, a general whole. even people, you know, if you're from a place that has nightlife, when they, they come that's, to... That's fair. They yeah. come to our nightlife and they're like, this is your nightlife? And we're like, like yes, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Like a win, we're proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> and last on our list is well, this is depending on where you are because Orange County, depending on where you are, everything looks the same, right? It's a bunch of tracked homes, different shade of beige, different shade of beige. You know, there's no, you know, it just, it's just all the same. Yeah, the variety isn't the the most robust as far yeah, as yeah, for sure. And again, this is like what Corey was alluding to. It depends on where you are. There's a lot yeah. of areas that are have been established for a while, and over time. Those homeowners have updated them or demoed that house and built something new. And so you have some like some more variety and stuff. Mm-hmm. But then there's other parts of Orange County, particularly the parts that I would say that within a homeowners association where you kind of have you get the builders built mm-hmm. like, let's say, four different models of home. And that's spread across over 200, you know, 200 pieces of land or or higher, like, you know, so let's say 200 to 1,000. And so it's going to feel like. It's it's like a, like a lot of similarities to say mm-hmm. the least, and so some people absolutely hate that. Mm-hmm. I know that you hated it actually when you mm-hmm. first moved here. Mm-hmm. I, I was always under like I was under the, the not the, not the Stockholm syndrome, the Orange County syndrome. Basically, mm-hmm. I just it didn't bother me. Like I was, I was it's all I knew. It so. didn't bother you, but did you like it? Like, would you yes, prefer that? I actually did like it because it kept things clean, and it just I actually kind of liked that it was. Because sometimes, like, you get these monstrosities next to a shack, and I'm like, I, I, it didn't really have a nice flow to it. So I do think these homeowner associations, especially over time, have gotten much better mm-hmm. at how they've done it. But there certainly is that time frame, particularly, let's say, in the 80s, I would say. Like, you know, in particular, I would say, like, that's where, like, a lot of these developments were done. And, and it definitely didn't feel that much, like there was much variety. Yeah, certain parts of Irvine especially, they just, it looks all Or South Orange County for that matter too. Yeah, true. But Irvine Orange. definitely started it all with, yeah. like with these developments, I would say. And like you kind of got, yeah, they were particularly bad back then where mm-hmm. really these tract homes were, were like, you know, there was very little differentiation. And over time, they've just, and again, the newer the things have gotten, I would say the nicer they've kind of got, like done a job of actually like again creating that aesthetic where it doesn't feel like everything is just one of four different models. Mm-hmm. So that's it. That's our video. And remember, we are licensed realtors in the state of California. So as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a house, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. 